Hey everybody, today we're going to be going over the island battle. I know I've covered this previously, but I want to give you guys a little more in-depth of the video. And definitely stay tuned to the end because there is a way to turbo through island battle that's definitely worth your while. So um, with that, let's jump right in. So there are two ways to access the island battle. You can either find this little island that you see pictured on the screen here and hit the bubble above it. Or you can hit down here in your to-do list, scroll to the bottom, and your island battle will be located down there. So what Island Battle is, is every day you get a two chances to go through the six islands on 15 different, up to 15 different stages to get rewards. And then you can use um, some of the points to uh, shop for things in the store based upon what you prefer. So um, if this isn't the first time you've come into Island Battle, the first thing you have to do is you have to hit reset. So... Um, the first time you go in, there's kind of a little tutorial that it'll make you do. Um, every other time after that, you can hit reset. So first thing you do is hit reset. The next thing you're going to want to do is down in the bottom right-hand corner, you will see there is a button that says preset formation. So that is what you're going to want to click next. And in here, you're going to want to make your strongest um, PVE march, or sorry, PVP march. So the island battle does attack you back so you definitely want to keep that in mind and for me i'm just gonna after you hit a certain point it doesn't really matter what you put in here but um kind of working your way up to level 80 and for anybody before that you definitely want to stay pvp um i always say since you have the first attack definitely try to ramp up the attack damage increase uh, march size things like that and then all you have to do is hit Make sure you have your formations on and hit set. So once that's set, all you have to do is click on the island you are wishing to attack. And that will happen. This will happen, sorry. And then hit attack. So we'll hit attack here. You guys can see your airplane moves. And then you're given the next three options. So you'll go through each tier like this and you'll see... Every time it tells you what you won, how much damage you took, and anything else. Um, some other things that may pop up are there are different items scattered about the island battle. These items include droid shards, skills, um, speed ups, some decor, some universal shards. There are also buffs. So if you're struggling to make it through, I wouldn't avoid the buffs necessarily, but I wouldn't grab too many of them because the... By grabbing the buffs, you're basically limiting your rewards. They're kind of almost like a trap to grab them. And it's the same reason why I always will suggest not to use this rush button because the rush button does grab buffs and you lose out on a lot of rewards that way. Um, to be honest, making it farther into the battle doesn't really help because if you're using buffs to get another half a stage, you're not really gaining anything because you might grab 10 buffs and those 10 buffs might cost you more points than it would to make it an extra three islands on a stage. So keep that in mind as you're grabbing things. Um, kind of a personal opinion there, but I definitely can say I, I regret when I was starting these on, grabbing every buff I could because it definitely didn't help me make it much farther than an extra two or three islands than if I just fought guys. So um, I'm going to grab the buff here because I accidentally clicked it just because I wanted to show you guys how awesome that is. And then the boss battle. So at the end of the boss battle, you'll see it says win. And then below you, it says next stage. So from here, um, this is where you got to start playing tactical. So you also have these abandoned enemy fortresses. These will heal your troops. And then you have your random chests. Inside your random chests, there can be bombs that do a lot of damage to you. So even if you're level 80, super high stats, you actually can lose in the island battle. Funny enough. Um, I've had it happen where I've hit eight bombs and it pretty much killed me instantly. So um, definitely kind of a random thing, but you'll see it does like that one. I got the heal thing and you can just keep going. So the next thing to think about is these next two shots that I'm going to show you. So hold on a second. So the first of these shots is this. This chart shows how many points you're able to get for attacking the blue army guys and the pink tank guys um so it does vary depending on what stage you're on and then there's also the final amount which is the bosses so um, i have the two highlighted yellow because they kind of 
break from ordinary, you get an extra boost right before you get them, but they're also a little bit harder to beat. So um, you get 10 points for winning or beating a blue army, you get 15 for beating a tank, and you get 20 for beating a boss, and then 30 at level 10 for levels 1 through 10. And then levels 11 through 15, you get 15 for the blue army, 20 for the pink tanks, 30 for the bosses, and then the last boss is worth 40. So in theory, if you got all five of your early islands to be pink tanks and you beat the boss, you could get a maximum of 1,620 points. Um, but that would be, I'd say, next to impossible based on RNG stuff. You're probably going to average about 1,200 to 1,300 points if you pick mostly the blue army pink tanks bosses. The next slide is going to show you the rewards other than the pink tank and the blue army. These rewards are ranked for me. Uh, definitely something you're going to want to do is take these rewards, write them down, and rank them for you and what your account needs. Um, some things to think about are things like help me letters. You may not think that they're useful, but those are giving you rare skills, basically. And skills are always one of the things that almost nobody in the game has maxed out. So you can always think of that as something that can help set you ahead of other people. Um, I don't put value on things like the purple shards because you just get so many of them, they're not useful. But if you are early on in the game, this is a good place to get them to help you get your gathering heroes set up. Um, definitely go check out my Gathering 101 video if you don't know what I'm talking about. But um, I put a lot of emphasis on skills and um, droid shards are a huge thing also because I like to help out my alliance. So um, this is my opinion on the orders of the rewards. For me, I would choose any of these rewards, 1 through um, 9. I would choose those over a pink tank or blue army any day because that's going to get me a lot more reward for those. And you can get between 1 and 5 of each of these rewards per time. So when you guys saw me or saw that uh, help me letter, you're actually able to see you'd get between 1 and 5 rewards after you claimed that island. So... Um, just something to think about. I always say try to grab one these for me it's grabbing my one through nine rewards and then pink tank, then blue army. So that's my order of things. And then if I have to, obviously I choose the heal. Um mystery chest you don't get to avoid. They make it the full three islands across or two islands across, so you can't avoid it. And then these uh ten through twelve things I really try to avoid if, if I don't have to. Um, I put blue recruit vouchers above everything else because you can get components from those. So it's a little benefit, but otherwise the blue heroes kind of stink. So um, back to the game. So the last thing I want to show you guys is how to speed through these. So I showed you guys a slow way. There is another way you can do where if you click and hold on your helicopter, you can see I can kind of drag it around and drag it to the bottom middle of the island you want to move to. You'll see it's now locked me into that island. And then I can do it into the next island, and the next island, the next island, and the next island. So now I can sit and let it run. So this takes a lot less time. Um, it's also a quick way to go. There's actually even a faster way. So on this next time, I'm going to show you the faster way, and you guys can be the judge of which way is the fastest. So same thing, click and hold. So you got your helicopter, and then you can drag your islands. And then click back out and go back in and it's done and you do get all the rewards so if you're ever wondering you can come in here you'll see you still fought all the battles and you do get the rewards so again that's click drag to the center of the island i'm um, kind of the center bottom of the island that's where you'll find the best results if you kind of drag to the top you'll see i'm dragged to the top right now and it's not really doing anything for me until i move down to the middle but other than that you can just keep going through so that's how you kind of approach this. Uh, the last thing I'm going to show you here is the store. So in the store, you have a variety of things. Um, you have help me letters, you have vouchers, you have elements, which I would never grab those, just so you guys know. They're not worth the things, and I accidentally almost bought something. Um, you have Basil, every hero of the basic free heroes. And you also have all their skills down at the bottom. Um, this is a great place to get your exclusive skills for your basic free heroes completed. I'd avoid the comp component chest here. Um, once you get that level 
I'd say a level seven exclusive skill. The help me letters are very, very, very underrated in this game, I feel. So I always, I've been grabbing those a lot and I'll be releasing another video on this soon, but I would choose the elite vouchers over the one Basil shard or the one violet shard or the one Tywin shard. And in my next video, you guys will see why. Um, elite tickets are also an underrated thing when it comes to perking. So uh, with that, that's all I have for you on the island battle. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. Remember, don't rush. Um, I only use rush if I have no time to actually sit and drag through these and wait a millisecond. So I just did that one blind. And you see, it, I didn't drag to the very bottom of the last one, so I got stuck on the last island here. So then you have to do it the hard way. Uh, but um, avoid rush unless you absolutely have to use it, just because you do only get like 800 points from it compared to you can get like 1100 plus good rewards if you do the drag and drag through the island way or take it slowly and click each island. So I hope you all enjoy the content. Please remember to like and subscribe if you do and see ya.